The positivity rate in suburban Cook County is 5.8 percent. That's up half a percentage point in just over a week. But head southwest to Kendall County and the positivity rate is 6.8 percent. They are close to being at warning level, meaning they too could begin seeing rollbacks in what's reopened. CBS 2's Vince Girasoli spent the day in Oswego. He joins us now live. Vince. Erica, at the moment, there is no one reason being given for this rise in positivity rates here in Kendall County. Health experts can only speculate. They think that perhaps young people are gathering. They're not social distancing. They're not wearing masks. But here in Oswego in particular, there's a certain reason to be concerned, and it has to do with the total number of COVID-19 cases. For example, throughout Kendall County, they have experienced so far a total number of 1,329 COVID-19 cases, and 27% of those cases have been here in Oswego. And Kendall County is not alone in outpacing the more urban city of Chicago. Take a look at these numbers now, for example. We're talking about positivity rates, and Kendall County, as you said, has a 6.8% rate. It's followed by Will County at 5.9%, Kane and suburban Cook counties at 5.8% each, McHenry County at 5.4%, Lake County at 5%, with DuPage the lowest in the area at 4%. Chicago has a 4.8% positivity rate. The rise here in Kendall County has families concerned. You just don't know from day to day, like, what should I do? What should I not do? Like, you want to make the right decisions, but you're not sure how to make the right decisions. It's worth reminding everyone that there is an 8% threshold throughout the state. If the positivity rate reaches 8%, there can be rollbacks. There can be more stricter measures put on businesses when it comes to capacity. And some businesses could even be asked to close. Okay, so Vince, any alterations happening immediately in Kendall County? Okay, when it comes to private schools, some private schools were going to have a mix of in-person and remote learning, and they've already said they're going to go remote only. And now for uh, public school, School District 308 here in the Oswego area, they are now saying that they're going to take a vote, and they believe they may also follow that trend and go remote only. All right, Vincere Soli reporting live for us. Thank you.